that's too bad. Very sad. We'll keep an eye out. Thank you. All right, guys, Chelsea, it's 10 a.m. Is everybody ready? Are you prepared with water, with your equipment, with your mindset, with your beautiful demonstrator? Oh, no, that's just me. All the ideas. <laughs> Good to see you guys. Welcome. Happy Thursday, Proactive members. We are going to get started here with a six exercise warm up. We've got six moves done back to back, 40 seconds per move. We're going to complete three rounds. I think you are more than capable of completing this. We are going to find out. Jeremy here will be demonstrating each of our six moves. Again, each move completed for 40 seconds, three times through. First move to start off our Thursday morning meltdown class. We've got a four back left, right hop. Balls are feet quite quick, you guys, quite small. We're not going to go big. We're going to go really, really tight movements for back, left, right hops. All right, second move. We're twisting side to side, back and forth while moving to the right, while moving uh, to the left as well. Balls your feet, heels elevated, we're really twisting those hips. Look at Jeremy's arms, guys. Really get those elbows involved here. Awesome, well, thank you, Jeremy. Third move here, we got cross body heat drops here. Stack your hands over top of one another, driving your cross body, look at your hands to meet the knee. Really driving it really, really hard. Deep belly exhale, I want to hear that hand smacking against that knee. 20 seconds per side. Sprinters, fourth move. Heading into a hip position here. Bent over, try the opposite arm to opposite leg. Side profile here for you guys. Opposite arm to opposite leg. Big long legs. 20 seconds per side. Sprinters. Fifth move. These sit kick out. These are new. So think about just hinging at the knees. We're not, we're not uh, kicking out the legs. We are extending out the legs. Okay, so these are bending and then extending out, bending and extending out. Very good, Jerry. Six and final move, we got leg ups, high plank position here, exploding up, landing onto our heels, head and chest come up. So perfect high plank position here, we're gonna take a nice flat back, pushing up off that ground, landing into a deep squat, or choosing to step up and someone jumping up. Proactive members, everybody, let's get started here. Six moves, starting off with our four back, left, right hops. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have some fun here this morning. In five, in four, three, two, one. Jeremy, the timer is officially on. Let's get it, guys. Let's work our butts off here this morning. Excellent. Jump forward, jump back, jump left, jump right, hopping on the same spot, working for 40 seconds with each of our six moves here. Taking your time this first round, we'll pick it up the second round, guys. This first round is just a feeler, making sure we have the form down, making sure our bodies are feeling good, and we will pick up this intensity as we progress throughout the warm up. Keep it going, guys. We've got a five second push here, proactive. Four, three, two, one. All right, guys, twisting side to side. Balls your feet, hips are moving, elbows are twisting, cross the bottom. Really over exaggerating your moves. Time is officially on, guys. 40 seconds. Twisting side to side, back and forth, your feet or hip or shoulder apart. It's your choice. Yes, very good, Catherine. You move those hips, guys. Great crew here this morning, proactive. I was just saying to everybody before we started today's session, it's looking highly likely that we will be opening up on the 15th of February. Fingers crossed, waiting for the official announcement. Based on what I keep hearing and seeing, based on what some of my other members are telling me that uh, kind of know a thing or two, we're going to be opening up. I got a good feeling about it. Eight seconds. Come on. Push three. Push two. Push one. All right, guys. Let's really work on staggering our feet in such a way that where our front foot is again higher. Both feet are squared up here. Cross bar. Knee shots. All right. So both feet are facing the same direction. Really emphasizing that your knee is actually coming across your body. Your knees aren't coming straight up, instead it's coming across your body. Really focusing on that right side oblique. Here we go, Chelsea. Halfway there, guys. Just going to spin around facing the opposite direction. Again, toes are facing the same direction. One foot is slightly out in front of the other as we cross our body. Making really good contact. Bend those elbows some more, Claire. Like you mean it. Come on, hey, I'm going to your knee. Make some noise, man. Let's go, baby. Five seconds. Yes, Chelsea. Three, two, one. We got sprinters. Go. 
applies to everybody. First round, no need to explode up. Just nice, consistent sprinters, opposite arm to opposite leg. Keep your nice long legs here. All right, let's get it, Jenna Goddard. Good to see you, girl. Great to have you online with us here this morning, proactive. Awesome. Thursday morning meltdown. All about core and agility here this morning. Steady breaths, try to exhale that knee drives up. Always keeping a soft bend in that front knee. Back leg will go straight. Halfway, switch legs. Very good switch there, guys. You guys are on this morning. Here we go, Catherine. Good, use of the arms. Keep that left knee nice and bent the whole time, Catherine. You got it. Five. Big more reps. Come on. Big Huge reps. Three seconds. Last rep. Way to go, guys. All right, last two moves here on our butts. We've got our V sit kick out. Just think about bending the knees, lengthening the legs, try to kick yourself on the butt. Lengthen the legs, then try to kick yourself on the butt. There we go. V sit kick outs. Excellent, guys. Your hands are braced behind you. Your hands are going to help keep your torso in that perfect 45 degree angle. Try to find the angle at which your core is engaged the most. Some of you might want to lean back more. Others want to crop your chest up some more. It's your choice. If you want to make this challenging, okay? Got a boy. I see you working at the top right of our screen, buddy. Oh, yeah. Hard to miss, Frank. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, everybody. Flip it over. High plank position. These are our famous throw out or leg ups from the high plank. We're pushing up off the ground, landing in a squat. Some of you are more capable of landing into a deep squat, others are just more so jumping up. That's okay. This is all about warming up the hands. So whether your hips are really tight right now, take it slow. You don't need to make it so explosive. You can sink down into that squat and hold it for three to five seconds. It's not about speed, especially this first round for active. Very good, Jared. Definitely want to point those toes out to the side, giving more space for your hips to sink in between the legs. Awesome, there, Jared. Kill that team. We got a 10 second push here, proactive. Keep digging. Almost there, Jen Gurman. Beautiful high plank. Great to land soft, Jen. Last rep. Rest. Rest. 30 seconds there. Let's grab some water, proactive members. Take your time. Refocusing our breath, getting ready for round two of three. Dawson, we've got three rounds of this dynamic warm up. Second round, picking up that intensity. Forward, back, left, right. Hops, come to your weight. 10 seconds here, Jared. You got this. Four, back, left, right, hops. Balls your feet, feet hip width apart. Let's see what you guys got. Two, one. We're on. Here we go. We're watching that whole YouTube members. Following along with Jeremy. Jeremy is going to be your guiding light during today's workout. <laughs> here we go. Jump four, jump back, jump back, jump front. Come on. Here we go, Chelsea. We're going to get those hips, arms, everything involved here this morning. It's all about building up that activation, that mind muscle connection. Come on. Steady breaths. Staying light on the feet, guys. We don't want to upset our downstairs neighbors if there's anybody beneath us. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're twisting side to side. Here we go, Jenna. I see those hips working. Come on. Alright guys, let's see it. Coming across the screen. Maximize your space as far right as you can go, as far left as you guys can go. Looks good, Greg. You're almost ready for the Dominican Republic, Greg. I can feel it. I know. You're hoping for your big trip. I hope we can get you back to the DR, buddy. We'll be taking along with you. We'll make a big proactive trip out of it. 15 seconds. I'm sure your family would love that. Workouts every day, competitions on the beach. Oh my gosh, can you guys picture it? I sure can. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, time. Yes, everything is a competition in my world. Cross body knee chops, guys. I don't want to see you just tapping your knee. Right? Knee, hands, something with an absolute dead stop. It's like a train hitting a bridge dock. It's a dead stop. Or knees, <laughs> driving in. Brace. Crunch that belly down into that knee. You got it, Jenna. Eight seconds here in there, bad. Beth Corbin, oh, let's go, baby. Crunch it, crunch it. Halfway there, Jenna. Let's switch the sides up, guys. 20 second push. 
Very good. When executed properly, this is a deadly core exercise. Come on, guys. Keep crunching. Cross body lean chops. You better believe it. Super body weights here this morning. Three seconds. Two more big ones. Last one. All right, Claire, we've got our sprinters. This is where we start to pick up the energy and explosivity of each movement. If you can, a little hop off that front foot. Just a little. Doesn't need to be big, doesn't need to be huge. Little hop off that front foot. Beauty, guys. Yes. Just a tiny one, guys. Just staying consistent with our movements. Remember, our front foot leaves the ground and touches the ground before your back leg drives up. That front foot comes off the ground and touches the ground before that back leg touches halfway, switching sides. Beautiful. That front leg is the most important leg here. Excellent. Great work at the proactive thing. You're flying, that we should waste some time in the summer. Okay, we're gonna have a proactive Olympics that takes some part. Three, two, one, and side. All right, guys. V sit, kick out onto our butts, moving back, placing our hands down on the ground, bending the knees, extending out the legs. Bending the knees, extending out the legs. Beautiful. Really good, guys. Maybe go proactive. It's Thursday morning. Getting after your Lord sweat. Come on. I want to see you guys sweating. Breathing heavy. That's what today is all about. 15 seconds. Beautiful, guys. We got a 10 second push here on the clock, then proactive. We're going to get ready for our leg ups coming up next. Three seconds. Two, one. All right. Let's move right into our leg ups. High plane position, jumping both legs up at the same time. Leg on the heels if you can. Excellent, Jim. Excellent as you guys land. Head and chest look way up. Beauty, guys. Way to stick the land there, Dawson. Nice to see this morning. Vicky's working, Claire, Janet, Chelsea. Wow. What a crew. 20 seconds to go, Proactive. Come on. We got this. We're in this with you, Proactive. Everybody's working together. We're all getting this done. Pit finish. Ten more seconds there, Jeremy. So close. So close. Earn this next water. You guys got three, two, last rep. Take another 30 seconds. Let's grab some water. Let's work on deep belly breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Warming up the air as it enters into your nostrils. Exhaling slowly out of the mouth. Control your breathing. You'll have a much more successful workout, guys. Do not hold your breath. Okay, guys. 10 seconds. Third and final round. Coming the way. Let's get set up here, Claire. Four, five, left, right. Hops. We're on. Very good. That timer does not slow down. It just keeps a consistent pace the whole time. 40 seconds on. Ten seconds off. You know the drill. Let's finish this third and last round there, Vic. Everybody's picking up ten more percent compared to the last round. <clears throat> Halfway, twisting side to side, coming up next in about 15 seconds, proactive. Keep up with those four back, left, right. Four back, left, right hops. Go get it. Go get it. Jerry's staying nice and light on his feet. That guy is flying. Looking really good, Jerry. Three seconds. Okay, guys, we got twisting side to side. One calls your feet, moving to the left, moving to the right. Three, two, one. We're off, Jerry. Let's get it. Heels are way up off the ground, guys. It's looking excellent, Jeremy. <clears throat> Keep moving, team. You got it. Oh, yes. Get those moves down, Pat. 20 seconds to go. Twisting side to side. Next up is cross body knee drops, whole body wind warm up. Very effective. We're moving very efficiently, guys. Transition from each move back to back. Little to no transition time. Five second push. Go. Five, four, three, two, one. Amazing. Standing upright, guys. Toes are facing in the same direction. One foot's out in front of the other. Cross body knee drops. Here it is. Let's get it, guys. 
Palms beat the quad. Four. Four. Your hands. Guys are nailing this out of the park. When you go there, bend that front knee a little bit more, guys. You're lining whatever foot is out in front to be your stabilizer. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it on up. Opposite side, team. Let's go get it. Just join me. Let's go hit this team. Crunching it on up. Big knee drives. Stopping at nothing, guys. Stopping at nothing. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Team, we've got our sprinters. This round, we're going to slow down our sprinters a little bit. We're going to go for more explosiveness. Leaning over top of that front leg. Exploding up. Slow. Big sprinters. Yes, going for height, guys. Think about head to sky. Head to sky. Get it up. Good. Let that arm me carry you up. All that momentum be built up through the ground, into the ankle, through the calf, to the quad, onto the arm, and all the way to the top of your head. Halfway. 20 seconds. All that energy. Push through the ground. Send that energy up through your head. Come on. Boom. Pop it on it. Beauty, man. A few more reps are coming. Aim for three more. Go. Three. Go. Two. Go. One. Hand side. Okay, guys, V-sit kickouts on your bottoms. Here we go, Doss, on your butt. We got V-sit kickouts. Any breath stretch here. All right, guys, bending the knees, kicking them out, keeping the toes together, pointed perfectly. We're earning points here this morning. I want to make sure everybody's toes are pointed. Very good, Jer. We're not docking any points from this guy. Toes are absolutely pointed together. Perfect positioning. Very good. The ballerinas would be proud. <laughs> 15 seconds. Very good, Jen. 10 out of 10, Jen. Look at that form. Almost. Three more. Slow it down. Last two, team. Last one. Real slow. Guys, one last maneuver here. Okay? We've got our leg ups. Big, explosive leg ups. Let's get on up there. High plank every time, arms brace underneath the shoulders, feet shoulder width apart, exploding up to the floor. Pop off that ground. Yes, Claire, it's good to have you back on the roster, Claire. We missed you during the live sessions. We will see you on the uh, trail, Langdon Hall soon, okay, Claire? <laughs> All right, guys. Couple more reps here to wrap up today's warm up. Here enough for a dynamic stretch. Give me five more big reps. Four, go. Three, go. Two, last big rep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, three reps. Warm up is done. Excellent. Small sips of water, spreading on out within your space. We are going to get ready for our dynamic stretch. It's going to help to warm up the hips, the hands, the low back, get everything working together. You guys should be very proud of that work ethic thus far. We are going to get prepared for the very intense workout portion that we have this morning. First things first, and nice gentle stretch. Neck rotations, standing feet, shoulder, hip width apart. Pressing your palms down to either sides of your body. Really <coughs> making sure we're staying relaxed as we can. Taking our neck to its full range of motion. Side to side, back and forth. Keep taking in oxygen. Not holding the breath. You guys are doing wonderful. From here, standing upright, planting your right foot, clasp both hands together, gripping over top of your left knee. Standing tall, pull your left knee tight to your chest. Standing upright, all the balance is coming through that right foot, standing on a spot on the ground. Soft bend the right knee if you have to. Every exhale, that left knee is driving tighter and tighter into your chest. The knee that's in your hands, pull it in, pull it in. Very good. Slowly release, slowly relax. Left foot's now planted, gripping over top of the right knee or shin. It's your choice. Pulling it nice and tight to your body. Pull that right knee so it touches my chest. Exhale that breath, getting it nice and tight. You got it, Dawson. Keep working on that balance, buddy. Uh, boy, balance is key. All right, guys, stepping out wide. You're slightly wider than shoulder width apart, everybody. Left hand down the left side. Inhale the right arm up. 
Big exhale, left hand travels down the left side of your body, reaching up and over and across. All the way. Very good. Slowly come back up, right hand down, right side. Inhale, left arm straight up. Look up, reach up. As you exhale, your left arm comes across, over to the right. Breathe in, good pulse, or do a static hold. It's your choice, guys. What's more precise, Jared? Big inhale, up with the right arm. Left hand's going to travel down the left leg really gracefully. Guys, guys, accent. Once more, down the right side. Left arm will take you down there. Really slow. That's a, that's a great side bend for you right there at home. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, guys, everybody find a wall, a chair, or a partner. Hands up on the wall. We got big leg swings. 15 huge leg swings per side. Leading into a wall, a chair, a bed, a glass door. Whatever you guys have available. Big leg swings. Opening up those hip flexors. Count out about 15 per side, guys. About 15 approximately, opening up. The left ball of your foot is down on the ground. The left heel should be elevated. Pull your nice calf raise as you're doing this. Excellent. Once we're done 15 per side, we're going to go into calf stretches. Calf stretches involve us pressing into a wall, a door, a closet, a bed, whatever we have, and lengthening through the backs of the legs. We can spend time on one or the other, but you can do both at the same time. Your choice, that hold, really pushing into our object, really driving our back heel down into the floor. Calf stretch is coming up next, Dawson. Spending about 30 seconds to a minute here. Taking your time, you can hold, you can pedal out those heels, whatever's comfortable for you. I want you guys to move intuitively based upon what your body needs. That's it, guys. Very good, Jared. Jared knows what he means. He's Pulsing with it. It's up to you guys. Ten more seconds. Half for, uh, stretches here. Well done, Jer. All right, proactive fan. Slowly coming off that wall. Very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Feet shoulder width apart. Show me ten perfect body weight squats. Hips back. Knees wide. Opening up the arms. Sinking as low as you can and coming on up. Being mindful not to round that low back, keeping that nice upright posture, pretend that we've got something to hang on to as we sit down. So we're leaning back, the way the heels, in full expression stand, driving hips forward, squeezing the butt cheeks together, feeling the activation here. Once we've got 10 reps, guys, we've got reverse lunges with a twist, a quite literal twist. Okay, so count them out, get your 10 body weight squats done. Once you've done your 10 body weight squats, guys, We've got 10 total, five aside, reverse lunge into a twist. Your back knee will stay hovered, five per side. Whenever knee is out in front proactive, so in this case it's my left knee that's out in front, I'm gonna twist to the left. Standing back up fully before completing another slow reverse lunge with another twist. Take your time, five per side, twisting towards the leg that's out in front, Squaring up the shoulders, pushing off the front foot, standing back up nice and tall. You need Chelsea, really good firm grasp, good grip on that front foot to really push down. Making sure the tripod effect is there, your heel, your big toe, your pinky toe, all planted firmly on the ground before exploding back up. Once you've done five per side, guys, we're going to move on. Here we go, guys. Good rotations. Love, elbows are up nice and high, your head and shoulders are rotating together. Super well done, proactive. If you want to go there, Doss, everybody grab some water. We're going to get going with our workout portion. Should we get more of you, buddy? Yeah, we're just sweating. All right, proactive. Jeremy here is going to be demonstrating each of your workout movements. We're going to demonstrate just three moves at a time. For our workout, we've got triceps, 40 seconds per move completed twice through. We've got two core movements, so back to back, followed by one agility movement. Once we're done the third move, I'm going to give you guys about 20 seconds to breathe, and then we're right back up at the top again, completing each of the three moves again. First move, if you guys have a towel or a med ball, you can definitely use those for smashing. So if you've got a towel, roll your towel up, making a little ball. So as tightly as you can um, Compress your towel. You can make a ball there, Jenna, using a towel. 
If you guys don't have a ball, use a towel. If you have, if you have a, a towel, you can use one. If not, you can just pretend. So we've got a V-sit smash. So Jeremy here is going to be smashing the ball to his left, down to his right, as hard as he can. If you guys have a towel, you are doing the same thing. If you've got body weight, you're going to clasp your hands together and pretend to smash down. Beautiful. Really powerful. Legs are going to be leaning back. That's your first move, 40 seconds. Second move, laying on your back, you've got sky kicks. Hands can stay planted on the ground for the most part. Laying back, kicking the legs straight up at the sky. Sitting up, kicking out, leaning back, and the upper back, kicking straight up. Look at Jeremy's hands, guys. They are always on the ground for stability or for more advanced, they can be off the ground the entire time. Your third and final move of this first set, guys, we've got an agility move. It's a long jump into a footballer. So, big long jump, hips back, arms back, driving out forwards, then a deep squat, and really, really rapidly dropping those feet while moving backwards. Keeping in mind, I care about how fast your feet are, I don't care how fast he's moving backwards. I want you to move slowly backwards, the fastest quick feet you possibly can do. All right, guys, on our butts, we got our V-sit slams coming up. Grab your med balls, grab your towels. Here we go. Everybody, we're gonna have some fun today, let me tell you. 40 seconds per minute. In five, in four, in three, two, one. V-sit slams, timer is on, proactive. Optional to keep one or two legs down on the ground. Definitely if you're more advanced, trying to keep both legs up off of the floor. Exhaling, make sure your torso, your head is turning towards the direction that you're slamming in. Slam hard, Doss. Try to, try to uh, throw the towel hard into the ground. Make some noise, Doss. 15 seconds, keep switching sides. Feel this? Yep. Deep belly, guys. Slam it harder. Back and forth. Make some noise, bro. You got it, Craig. Five seconds of our V sit slams, and then we got our sky kick. Three, two, one. All right, bro. I can on your back, Chelsea. We're going to rock back and forth. Use momentum for this exercise. Rocking back, kicking up, sitting up, kicking out. Rocking back, kicking up, sitting up, kicking out. Okay? But this one here, you guys, you want to rely on momentum. Rocking all the way up to sit up, Doss. I want you to sit up every time. But don't hide, Jeremy. It's sitting up every time. Torso, head, shoulders, way off the ground, guys. So you got it. Not a one. Way better, guys. You guys are nailing this out of the park. 15 seconds of sky kicks there, Jen. Try to kick directly above your belly button and not above your head. Don't kick above your head, kick above your belly button. Beauty chair. You go, guys. Last one. All right, team. Standing on up, 10 seconds, agility time. One long jump, Chelsea, with footballers moving back. Here we go, three, two, one. One long jump, stick the landing, and football. Really, really choppy while moving backwards. Okay, long jump, make sure you stick the landing. A perfect landing for long jump looks like this. You're squatting down, your head and chest are up. The weight is through your heels, your hips are back. Yeah. After you land into a perfect long jump squat, we're going to go right back into our footballers moving backwards. Those are looking good, Jenna. Right? It's not about speed on our way back. We're going for quick feet, but not oh. speed while moving backwards. Three seconds, two, one. Ready to finish, guys. Give you guys some time here to breathe. We're into our V-sit slash. We're going to go into round number two. Each round completed twice. Okay, guys? Very nice. Beautiful, Jared. Great push, sir. Okay, proactive. Here we go. Gearing up here, Jenna. You ready to go there, Catherine? Let's rock this. Five seconds. Five, four, three. Slam it. Two, one. Decent slams. Arms on. Quiet those arms down into the ground. Come on. Slam that towel, Greg. We're polishing those hardwood floors here today. Yeah, I think he's using a pillow. You can use a pillow, a med ball. You can use an old textbook from university that you despise. Of. Okay, whatever you want. Slam it, let's go. Last time completing this exercise here this morning. Slam it hard. He said slams, and then we'll go into our sky kicks. 
Come on, man. Exhale, slam it hard. Five seconds. Got two more reps. Come on, three, three, two, one. You guys are on sky kicks. Then flatten your backs. Remember, guys, your belly button. Draw a straight line up towards the ceiling. Kick it above your belly button. If you're kicking back beyond your belly button, you're going to be straining your neck and not utilizing your core to its fullest potential. All right, you guys are full of potential this well, moment. I want you to use all that potential and crush the core. Look at Jeremy's form, guys. It is 100% bang on. Arms will be up off the ground if you guys are more advanced. Looking good, Catherine. As you sit up, always head up, chest up, looking up at the sky. Beauty. 13 seconds. Nice. Now that speed course, now that control. Nice. It's about building tension to where we need it the most. One more rep. Okay, proactive. We're going to go into our last long jump with feet. Try to make your long jumps 6 to 12 inches further than the first rep. Let's get it. Hips back, arms back, big reach. Explode out there. Try to land on the heels as best as you can. Fast footballs on the way back. Yes, like a little squint there, Jen. Woo! Beautiful. You got it, Dawson. Hips back, arms back. Reach out in front of you. We're going to maximize your space, shall we? Practice it's there. It's really well done. You don't need much space to exercise, as we all know. Oh, if we do have a little bit more space, let's utilize it. 10 seconds. Jeremy's trying to jump 15 feet here. He's trying to jump the width of the turf. Yes, very good. It's crazy to think that NFL players can actually get close to that. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, water it up. We're going to move on to our next set of three moves. Same format, just three brand new moves. We've got hold scissors paired with gas pedals. Paired with our one touches. So with your one touches, you can grab a med ball, you can grab a pillow, you can grab a cushion, whatever you have in your area, or just use the air. So starting off here, guys, on your backs. One leg is up in the air, one leg is straight out. Jimmy's gonna hug his one leg tight to his body. Then slowly switch. Not about speed, but he wants to try to touch his chin or his nose to his knee. Chin or nose to his knee. So he's really sitting up into it. Very slow, Jerry. Awesome work. Second move, guys, gas pedals. Very particular with the timing. I'll let you guys know when this is. We've got 15 seconds, palms pressing into your quads. Shins are parallel to the sky. Toes are being flexed towards your body. 15 seconds. Head shoulders off the ground. Push your palms into quads. After 15 seconds, you get a five second rest to just breathe. It's probably two breaths. And then right back into it for another 15 seconds. That will be your 40 second interval right there. Last but not least, one touches. Again, you use the air, body weight, or a med ball, a dumbbell, a couch cushion, whatever you want. Single foot tapping the ball, kicking, one leg at a time. A slight lean back, guys. Opposite arm, opposite leg, one touches. Take it here. Okay, guys. On our backs, there, Claire. You ready, sister? <laughs> Here we go. Single leg, scissors. We're gonna hold each leg, guys, around the hand. In five. You ready, Jared? Yeah, baby. In four. Come on, go back to it. In three, two, one. We are rocking. Let's get this done, go back to it. We're better together. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's why we all exercise together, go back to it. Very nice. Oh, keep holding in. One leg at a time, punch up into it. 15 seconds to go, proactive. And then we're going to move into our gas pedals. 10 seconds there, Dawson. Oh, very good. Around the cap, around the hamstrings, tuck it in. Pull the heart back. Three, two, one. Excellent. Resting for 10 seconds, guys. Getting ready for our next move. Gas pedals. Five, four, three, Two, one, 15 seconds is on. Pushing as hard as you can. 15 seconds, guys. Go, go, go. Push oh, hard. Yeah. Deep belly breath. Hold it. Push hard. Five seconds of the rest. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Two, two breaths. Jeremy, get ready. 20 seconds to go. Three, two, one. Time is off. 15 seconds to go. Here, you guys. Go, go, go. Push. Palms. Quads. Uh. 
Push those palms as hard as you can. Pedal to the metal, guys. Get her done. Eight, Eight seconds now. A spot. Four, three, two, one. Amazing. One touch. It's standing on up, guys. Your object, okay? Little one touches. Tap it. So it's One, 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 one. That's it, guys. One touches. Here you go, Jenna. Lift those arms. Nice. And don't trip on your med balls, guys. You don't want to put too much weight on them. We're just kicking them. We're not stepping on them. There's a difference. Steady breaths right here. This is round one of two for our second circuit. Halfway, 20 seconds, and then we'll go back to our static fold scissors. 13 seconds there, guys. Go, go, go. Get her done, Vic. Pump those arms, girl. Five seconds to the end there, Greg. Give me five, four, three, two, one. Really good, guys. Quick little rest here. About 20 seconds to breathe, and then we will get back to our hold scissors and our gas pedals. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Hold scissors, alternating legs, holding each leg for one to two seconds at a time. Beautiful, guys. Who can actually touch your knee to oh. your nose? Don't break your nose, please. But let's see who can actually touch their nose to their knee. Guys, nice. it's hard to do. Easier said than done, right, guys? Woo! Thanks, Jenna. Is that a double tap, Jenna? You double tap in there. Holy jeez. Whoa, had it, bro. Love it, guys. Super solid form. Last time performing these, three, two, one, and time. Excellent, guys. Little rest here. Let's go into our gas pedals. Five, four, three, two, one. Gas pedals. 15 seconds on, five seconds of rest on another 15 seconds on. Palms against the quads, guys. Try to put a dent in those knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys. Five seconds of resting. Four, three, two, one. Game on. Let's hit this, chair. Let's hit this. Come on. You guys got it. Right to the end, chair. Right to the end. Hold it. Hold it. Three. Two, one, rest. Well done. Oh, okay. Well done, my friends. You guys are rocking this, man. Ready? One touches. Three, two, one. Timer's up. All right, guys, everybody's up and moving. One touches. Better believe it. Let's see it. Where my soccer player's at? Very good. Yes, great. Come on, Dawson. I know you're a soccer player. I know how quickly you can move those feet. Tap and go, bud. Tap and go. Come on. Working up a sweat this morning. See if you guys can keep up with Jeremy here. 15 seconds to the end, next time. We're in this next water break, girl. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, five four, three, two, one. Everybody go grab some water, please. Another set bites the dust for a lot of Moving into our third set of moves here. Okay, we've got low plank hip dips, paired with one of my favorites, a side plank crunch, paired with mini jump tuck jumps. Okay, so again, two core moves, one agility move. First one here, guys, perfect low plank position. Back is flat, you hit your shoulder apart, slowly dipping the hips right to left. Left to right, dipping the weight down to the ground. Very good. Excellent. Second move, guys. Side plank position, beginners. So Jeremy's here on his right elbow. You can keep your right knee down on the ground if you're a beginner. Just make sure your hips are up off the ground. Your body's in a nice straight line, okay? From here, Jeremy's left elbow and left quad are gonna come up and crunch. So not only is he working his bottom side of these, his right obliques, but he's also working his top obliques by completing his crunching motions. That's gonna be done 20 seconds per side or an option to do a full 40 seconds and switch the second round. Your choice, 
Last but not least, we got our mini jump tuck jumps. In 40 seconds, it's more than possible to get up to 12 mini jump tuck jumps. Make 10 to 12 your goal. One little mini jump, one big tuck jump. Two little mini jumps, one tuck jump. Three mini jumps, one tuck jump. Building your way up to, again, between 10 and 12 is the goal. Here we go, guys. Let's get started. Five. We'll play Kip Ticks and Catherine. Four, three, two, one. We'll play Kip Ticks. Timer is on. I want you guys to always come back to your low plank position before dipping the hips. Don't just combine hip tips back and forth with moving those hips all over the place. Control it. Get back to that high plank, then dip down. If you can touch your hips with the ground while still maintaining core contraction, do it. If by going super low, you're now using your low back, your lower erectors, don't go as low. You don't need to. Huh. Little small hip tips. You can go fast, you can go slow. Test it out, see what you prefer. Eight seconds to go. Proactive. And done. Three seconds. Two, one. All right, guys. Side plate crunches. For this one, very important, if you are switching at the half weight point, switch within a second, okay? Side plank, crunches, timer's off. Very good, back. So Jeremy here is on his right forearm. His elbow, forearm, and hand are both planted on the ground and evenly distribute the weights. Oh, Jeremy's nice. advanced, so his bottom knee is up off the ground. You can do the same try. Three seconds, so half. Three, two, one, half weight. Good switch, 20 seconds to go. Crunch it up, guys, elbow to knee. Think about ribs to hips. Crunch it, try to touch your ribs to the more hip every time you crunch. Yeah. This is a killer side plank crunch. I love it, three seconds. And time. Everybody stand up, mini jump, tuck jumps, right away. The goal is 10, okay, let's see what you can manage. Five seconds. One knee jump, one touch, one, two, one, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Ten is the minimum. Let's get up there. Ten is the minimum in 40 seconds. I know you guys can do it. Try to get up your knees up the hip height. Jeremy's going to show you a side profile here so you can see how high his knees are going. Knees are going up to his hip height every time. If you don't prefer to jump, I want you guys to squat down instead. Making that quite possible was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Aria is lined up in such a way where I thought you were stepping on Aria's back. Shard, take a picture, quick. That is the funniest thing I've ever seen. It looks like just a <laughs> oh Aria's down on the ground, everybody, and Vicky's stepping on her little daughter. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Oh my goodness. Now she's frozen. <laughs> take it, Shard, take it. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. All right, guys, we'll have to uh, share this photo with you guys if uh, Vicky gives us permission. Uh, going into low play kip tips, that too, making that was hilarious. Three, low play kip tips, two, one, time is up. Maybe did a full on box shop. I'm like, what is she doing? We're getting strong. Very good, Jared. Okay, guys, remember this is our last round. We've got two rounds of each of our tri sets. We've got plenty of time. Just keep working through, guys. Keep thinking about how you want your body to look and feel mm -hmm. this year. What type of goals do you guys have in mind? Yeah. Have you guys set weekly goals? Let's start off by saying daily goals, weekly goals, monthly right. goals, and a year goal. Time. Keep thinking about these little things, guys. Here we go. Jared, put it to R. Side plate crunches in five, in four, three, two, one side plank crunches are out. I find the best way, everybody, to achieve a larger, bigger goal is to just break it up into little chunks. Daily, small, small goals. If you complete daily, tiny goals every single day, your big goal is going to come a lot sooner. Let me tell you. Halfway, guys, 20 seconds. Just Picking it apart, one little piece at a time. I mean, it's just dialing in your nutrition. And then even going on, you know, more basic than that, eating three meals a day. Huh? Who here is missing meals? Uh, Five seconds, guys, come to that. Three, two, one. And even going smaller than that. Who, who here is uh, drinking a liter, two liters of water a day? Minimum. Right? Three, two, 
One, we need drum tuck jumps. Let's get it, guys. Come on, Johnny. Ten minimum. You advanced member should be able to get about what? Twelve? Did you get thirteen in the last round? Fourteen. Okay, we got fourteen in the last round. So ten's more than possible for beginners and intermediate. Push. And then we don't have to tuck jump. We go mini jumps. Mini jump, then go squat. Mini jumps, and then do the squat instead of the tuck jump. Fifteen seconds, proactive. I'll take ten minimum. You better get it. You better hit it. Eight seconds, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and side. Guys, grab some water. We're going to need a heavy weight for this next set of moves. We've got a standing oblique crunch paired with vacuum twist and then three step crossovers. Steady breaths, guys. So for our heavy standing oblique crunch, the weight is going to be in our right arm, our left hand is above our left ear. And your left elbow is going to crunch down to the left quad and then stand back up. Hang on, guys. All right, Jeremy here is just going to catch his breath. We are going to get ready for our standing oblique crunches. So, again, team, the weight is in our right arm. Okay, so in this case, Jeremy's right arm here, guys. He's going to let that weight slowly take him down, but then he's going to think about driving his left elbow towards his left quad. So, you don't want to just stand straight up every time, but you want to kind of come. Over to the opposite side, just slightly to get that crunching sensation. 20 seconds aside or 40 seconds, which is the second round? Good choice. Vacuum twist, second move. Gripping onto a medium weight here 20 pound, 15 pound, somewhere in that range. Push hard through the sides of the dumbbell. Shoulders, head, arms all rotate together fast, tight. Vacuum twist. Think about that vacuum seal, guys, that vacuum bed. All the options, sucking out of the belt. Your agility move, set down a hurdle. Anything, if you have dumbbell, if you have a resistance band, he's gonna use his dumbbell for this one. Three set crossovers, standing beside his object, his outside foot slowly crosses over the object. One, step two, step three. Right leg, outside leg crosses over, step one, two, three. Here we get Chelsea, yep. Three set crossovers, so not only are you stepping three steps per side, but it's that outside leg, that's going to carry you out and over your object. One, two, three, step, one, two, three, step, one, two, three. All right, here we go, guys. You got standing oblique crunches, heavy dumbbell. If you don't have a heavy dumbbell, you can literally go body weight, guys. Or you can use a resistance band as well around your foot. Here we go. In three, two, one. Timer is on. Let's get it, guys. Here we go, team. Let's push our bodies. Very good. Down on the one. <laughs> I got it up there. Oh, yeah. Down real slow, guys. And then up fairly fast. And again, sucking out the oxygen, crunching it up. <laughs> well done, Chelsea. Way to go beyond oh, 90 degrees, sister. That's what we want every time. We want to let that weight slowly really take us down. We will still activate the core and, and then come over 90 degrees. We're well over halfway, just stay on the same side if you didn't switch. If you didn't switch, don't do it now. Five seconds, you're on the same side the whole time. Four, three, two, one, vacuum twist. Medium dumbbell, 10, 15, 20. Get a good grip on it, twist it side to side, back and forth. Quite rapid. The way it is, guys. Look at the shoulders, the biceps, the core. Oh, yeah. Yes. Don't over rotate, guys. We're going to come to a dead stop every side. Do not over rotate. Nice. Right. 20 seconds, go out and keep doing those vacuum twists. Go. Almost there, guys. Come on. Twist. Twist. Oh, get him done, Jerry. Twist. Twist. Eight seconds. Seven oh. seconds. Six. Come on. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, and side. Okay, guys, get out of your hurdle. Outside foot crosses over your leg and over the hurdle. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here you go. Very good. Outside foot crosses over your leg and over the hurdle. That's it, Claire. Three steps per side. I want you to literally count them. Make sure you're only touching the ground three times per side. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. 
No more than three, no less than three. It's three steps per side. Make it perfect. Move those hips, don't you trip, Greg, be safe. 13 seconds. Yes, Greg, get those hips and arms going. Eight seconds, cross over if you guys need it. Really picking up that intensity now. Towards the end of the workout here this morning, guys. Sides. Have a little rest, guys. We're getting ready for our standing oblique crunches on the opposite side. Some of you did the whole side on your right, or the whole interval on the right side. Now you can do the whole interval on the left side. If you switch to half ways, switch again. Five seconds, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Time runs off. Let that weight slowly take you down while still engaging the core. Come on up with some power. With some purpose. That's it, guys. Ice. Really good, team. Ice. Finish and strong. 20 seconds. Ice. Catherine, perfect. Keep that weight locked out. The arm with the weight in it doesn't really bend a whole lot. Ice. Stop pulling. Just so staying dead. Staying strong. Ice. Okay, guys, vacuum twist. Grabbing the medium weights. Palms together. Shoulder blades roll back. Elbows bent 90 degrees. Let's twist. Let's rotate. Quick, quick, quick. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> Highest channel. Push those palms in hard. Pretend I'm punching you in your belly, channel. Come on. Last vacuum twist of the morning. Finish this, guys. Come on. We got our last three set crossovers coming up in 20 seconds. Nice. Dig in, dig in. Come on. Nice. Nice. Oh. Crash it, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys. We got three set crossovers. Five seconds outside foot pressing over your right and over the object. Time's up. Don't you trip on your hurdles, guys. Good. Three steps per side. Get moving out there. Ready? One, two, three. Over there. One, two, three. Over. One, two, three. Over. Yeah, come on. Uh, speed. Speed show, guys. Come on. 20 seconds, Dawson. Keep twisting those hips, guys. It helps you get over your hurdle. The more you twist, the easier it is. Go back. Eight seconds. Turn in this next water. Five, four, three, two, one, and five. All right, guys, we're gonna move on to our, our final, our absolute final tricep coming your way. We've got a high plank knee pulse. Staying on the same side for 20 seconds. Very small, rapid knee pulses. Working on crunching in that belly. Paired with bicycles. Slowing down the bicycles. Alternating sides. Paired with hurdle highsmans. Okay, last tricep of the morning. So, first move, high plank. Same knee, 20 seconds. Very rapid. That's right knee, pulse, pulse, pulse. Crunching on into it. Showing them the side profile there, Jerry, so they can really see how fast that means moving. That's what we want to see. Really fast, mini, explosive knee drivers. 20 seconds a side. Second move on the back, we have bicycles. I don't know what you got yet. <laughs> opposite elbows, opposite knee, cross bar. Bicycles. Very good. Amazing, Jen. Last move, hurdle highs. We're going to go for a height with this one, not speed. Inside knee or leg is driving back. Head and chest are up. Does everybody know what the inside knee is? The inside leg refers to the leg that's closest to the object that you're hopping over, okay? So in this case, it's Jeremy's right leg. Hinging over, right knee's gonna drive up, over top of the hurdle, land on the right leg, the left leg goes back, because that's now his inside leg. Left knee drives up, over top of the hurdle, land on the left, inside knee is now his right, he goes back. Big hurdle highs, explode up. All right, guys, let's finish strong. Good news, guys, we're only gonna go through this last tricep once. Let's go make it count. High plank knee pulses in five. High plank knee pulses in four, three, two, 
what timers are. Only go through once proactive. One time only. So make it count. Finish strong. Huh? Yes. Yes. Oh, get it. Three seconds. Two. One. Switch side. Very rapid, Jack. You're Tight. Pulse. Go, 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 go. Yeah, switching sides there, Ben. Other side, girl. Oh, I'm watching you. Ten seconds to go. Pulse it, crunch it, get it done. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody on your back. You've got your bicycles. Opposite elbow to opposite knee, cross body. Try to physically touch your elbow to your knee. Lay flat on your back, guys. Your head can stay elevated if you can. Very good, guys. Last in that four. Building up your abdominal muscles. That's it, guys. That's it. Slow bicycles. Last few moves of your tricep here. Oh. 15 seconds, and we've got our last agility move of the morning. Oh. Oh. Well done, team. Eight seconds in the end. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, standing on up, we got our hurdle high spins. Remember, it's all in the setup. Inside leg is back. The outside knee is nice and back. Leaning forward. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Big hurdle high spins, guys. Get in that deep hinge position. Leaning over top of that front leg. Yeah, Jenna, good arms. Remember, going for height, not speed. Inside knee drops up, way over the top of your object. Make sure you clear the object and you don't land on top of it. 20 seconds, guys. All the way. Keep going. Keep going. Dig, dig, dig. Push 10 seconds, guys. Last 10. Last 9. 8. Good, Chelsea. 7. Get some height. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Amazing. You guys should be very proud of that. Little finisher here. A fun little game, guys. I'm going to be demonstrating a move. Four reps per move. It's going to be a follow after me finisher. Okay? You guys are going to see if you can memorize each of our movements. If you forget what the movements are, no peeking at Jeremy. So if you're used to watching Jeremy, don't anymore. I want you guys to try to memorize these moves. So here's the example, guys. High plate position. We're going to do four alternating knee taps. Okay? And then we'll stop demonstrating. You guys at home will do a high plate, four alternating knee taps. And then we're going to demonstrate your second move. Okay, Claire? Once we demonstrate your second move, which are high plank shoulder taps, four total shoulder taps. You're then going to do your first move, which I can't tell you what it is, <laughs> you should know. And then you're going to do your second move. And if you forget any of the movements in whatever order we're doing them in, you will owe 10 burpees as your punishment. Okay? So, the example sticks. Everybody, I'm going to demo. Jerry's ready. First move, high plank, four knee taps. Everybody, let's get it done. First move, high plank, four knee taps. You got it, man. Don't you look up at the screen? <laughs> you know what you're doing. All right, I am not going to talk about that first move ever again. You guys should know what it is. Second move, high plank, cross body shoulder taps. Always four reps total. Do the first move and the second move. Do the first move and the second move. I'm scared. <laughs> Very good. Now everybody, keep thinking. I know the first move, right? I hope so. Do you know the second move? Here's the third move. Star balls. Star balls. Big star, little ball. Four reps. Let's see what you guys got. Don't look at Jenna. 
That counts. We're going to do all, all three movements, Catherine. Yeah, all three. Yeah. There we go. It's all three in the same order that we've been demonstrating. Very good, Greg. Awesome. Good challenge, guys. Keep thinking about what the moves are. We're stepping it up a notch. Are we going into our fourth move already? Oh, baby. We got bird dogs. Four total. Kneeling position. Opposite arm, opposite leg reaches. Crunch. Okay? Reach, crunch. Reach, crunch. Four cross body bird dogs. Four moves. What are they? Keep memorizing them. Keep doing all movements in a row in the same order every time. If you forget, it's 10 burpees. Very good. Amazing. Excellent, guys. Adding new dimensions every time. Next move, coming up. Finish it up, guys. You got it. Very good, Claire, Jen, Catherine, Beth, Greg, good. All right, Dawson, you got sit-ups. Legs are wide or close, your choice. Big, powerful, explosive sit-ups. Here we go. All five moves done. Let's see if you guys remember. If you forget, if you're looking at the screen, if you're looking at Jeremy, you're out to 10 burpees. You got to know what they are. No looking at the screen. You should know what they are. Three. Very good. Four. Wow. Everybody's doing very well. Very good. Awesome finish there, Greg. Six. Very good. Great finish. We've got one more dimension to add here. Four. One more dimension to add. All right. Awesome. All right, guys, the last dimension. Legs are straight up in the air. Toe taps. Big reach. Go get them. Legs are up in the air. Big toe taps. Last dimension. If you look at the screen to Jeremy, you're out to 10 burpees. All of them, the back to back. You know what to expect. You guys are doing great. Amazing. Great reps, perfect form. Everybody's doing very well. Testing your mental aptitude this morning. See if you guys can remember up to eight movements. Super well done this morning, proactive. This is your big finisher. If you're following along at home on YouTube, you better not be looking at Jay right now. You better have it all memorized. <laughs> Jenna, Beth, Catherine, Jen, Claire, Greg, Dawson, everybody involved. Fabulous work ethic this morning, Proactive. Really proud of your work ethic. Dedication here. Super well done, Doss. Everybody's sweating up a storm. Sweat equity. Keep building up that sweat equity every, every week. Oh,